In geometry and physics, spinors are elements of a complex vector space that can be associated with Euclidean space. Like geometric vectors and more general tensors, spinors transform linearly when the Euclidean space is subjected to a slight infinitesimal rotation. When a sequence of such small rotations is composed integrated to form an overall final rotation, however, the resulting spinner transformation depends on which sequence of small rotations was used. Unlike vectors and tensors, a spinner transforms to its negative when the space is rotated through a complete turn from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. See picture. This property characterizes spinors. It is also possible to associate a substantially similar notion of spinner to Minkowski space in which case the Lorentz transformations of special relativity play the role of rotations. Spinors were introduced in geometry by Elie Carton in 1913. In the 1920s physicists discovered that spinors are essential to describe the intrinsic angular momentum, or spin. Of the electron and other subatomic particles, spinors are characterized by the specific way in which they behave under rotations. They change in different ways depending not just on the overall final rotation, but the details of how that rotation was achieved by a continuous path in the rotation group. There are two topologically distinguishable classes, homotopy classes of paths through rotations that result in the same overall rotation, as famously illustrated by the belt trick puzzle below. These two inequivalent classes yield spinner transformations of opposite sign. The spin group is the group of all rotations keeping track of the class. It doubly covers the rotation group, since each rotation can be obtained in two inequivalent ways as the endpoint of a path. The space of spinors by definition is equipped with a complex linear representation of the spin group, meaning that elements of the spin group act as linear transformations on the space of spinors, in a way that genuinely depends on the homotopy class. In mathematical terms, spinors are described by a double-valued projective representation of the rotation group so 3. Although spinors can be defined purely as elements of a representation space of the spin group or its Lie algebra of infinitesimal rotations, they are typically defined as elements of a vector space that carries a linear representation of the Clifford algebra. The Clifford algebra is an associative algebra that can be constructed from Euclidean space and its inner product in a basis-independent way. Both the spin group and its Lie algebra are embedded inside the Clifford algebra in a natural way, and in applications the Clifford algebra is often the easiest to work with. After choosing an orthonormal basis of Euclidean space, a representation of the Clifford algebra is generated by gamma matrices, matrices that satisfy a set of canonical anti-commutation relations. The spinors are the column vectors on which these matrices act. In three Euclidean dimensions, for instance, the Pauli spin matrices are a set of gamma matrices, and the two component complex column vectors on which these matrices act are spinors. However, the particular matrix representation of the Clifford algebra, hence what precisely constitutes a column vector or spinner, involves the choice of basis and gamma matrices in an essential way. As a representation of the spin group, this realization of spinors as complex column vectors will either be irreducible if the dimension is odd, or it will decompose into a pair of so-called half-spin or whale representations if the dimension is even. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Introduction. What characterizes spinors and distinguishes them from geometric vectors and other tensors is subtle. Consider applying a rotation to the coordinates of a system. No object in the system itself has moved, only the coordinates have, so there will always be a compensating change in those coordinate values when applied to any object of the system. Geometrical vectors, for example, have components that will undergo the same rotation as the coordinates. More broadly, any tensor associated with the system for instance, the stress of some medium also has coordinate descriptions that adjust to compensate for changes to the coordinate system itself. Spinors do not appear at this level of the description of a physical system, when one is concerned only with the properties of a single isolated rotation of the coordinates. Rather, spinors appear when we imagine that instead of a single rotation, the coordinate system is gradually continuously rotated between some initial and final configuration. For any of the familiar and intuitive tensorial quantities associated with the system, the transformation law does not depend on the precise details of how the coordinates arrived at their final configuration. 
Spiners, on the other hand, are constructed in such a way that makes them sensitive to how the gradual rotation of the coordinates arrived there, they exhibit path dependence. It turns out that, for any final configuration of the coordinates, there are actually two topologically inequivalent gradual continuous rotations of the coordinate system that result in this same configuration. This ambiguity is called the homotopy class of the gradual rotation. The belt trick puzzle shown famously demonstrates two different rotations, one through an angle of 2π and the other through an angle of 4π, having the same final configurations but different classes. Spiners actually exhibit a sign reversal that genuinely depends on this homotopy class. This distinguishes them from vectors and other tensors, none of which can feel the class. Spiners can be exhibited as concrete objects using a choice of Cartesian coordinates. In three Euclidean dimensions, for instance, spiners can be constructed by making a choice of Pauli spin matrices corresponding to angular momenta about the three coordinate axes. These are two times two matrices with complex entries, and the two component complex column vectors on which these matrices act by matrix multiplication are the spiners. In this case, the spin group is isomorphic to the group of two times two unitary matrices with determinant one, which naturally sits inside the matrix algebra. This group acts by conjugation on the real vector space spanned by the Pauli matrices themselves, realizing it as a group of rotations among them, but it also acts on the column vectors that is, the spinors. More generally, a Clifford algebra can be constructed from any vector space V equipped with a nondegenerate quadratic form, such as Euclidean space with its standard dot product or Minkowski space with its standard Lorentz metric. Given a suitably normalized basis of V, the Clifford algebra is generated by gamma matrices, matrices that satisfy a set of canonical anti-commutation relations, and the space of spinors is the space of column vectors with 2 dim V 2 display style 2 caret L floor dim V 2 R floor components on which those matrices act. Although the Clifford algebra can be defined abstractly in a coordinate independent way, its particular realization as a specific algebra of matrices depends on which orthogonal axes the gamma matrices represent. So what precisely constitutes a column vector or spinner also depends on such arbitrary choices. The orthogonal Lie algebra i.e., the infinitesimal rotations and the spin group associated to the quadratic form are both canonically contained in the Clifford algebra, so every Clifford algebra representation also defines a representation of the Lie algebra and the spin group. Depending on the dimension and metric signature, this realization of spinors as column vectors may be irreducible or it may decompose into a pair of so-called half-spin or whale representations. Mathematical definition The space of spinors is formally defined as the fundamental representation of the Clifford algebra. This may or may not decompose into irreducible representations. The space of spinors may also be defined as a spin representation of the orthogonal Lie algebra. These spin representations are also characterized as the finite dimensional projective representations of the special orthogonal group that do not factor through linear representations. Equivalently, a spinner is an element of a finite dimensional group representation of the spin group on which the center acts non-trivially. Topic overview There are essentially two frameworks for viewing the notion of a spinner. One is representation theoretic. In this point of view, one knows beforehand that there are some representations of the Lie algebra of the orthogonal group that cannot be formed by the usual tensor constructions. These missing representations are then labeled the spin representations, and their constituents spinors. In this view, a spinner must belong to a representation of the double cover of the rotation group so n, r, or more generally of double cover of the generalized special orthogonal group so plus p, q, r on spaces with metric signature p, q. These double covers are Lie groups, called the spin group spin n or spin p, q. All the properties of spinors, and their applications and derived objects, are manifested first in the spin group. 
Representations of the double covers of these groups yield double-valued projective representations of the groups themselves, this means that the action of a particular rotation on vectors the quantum Hilbert space is only defined up to a sign. The other point of view is geometrical. One can explicitly construct the spinors, and then examine how they behave under the action of the relevant Lie groups. This latter approach has the advantage of providing a concrete and elementary description of what a spinner is. However, such a description becomes unwieldy when complicated properties of spinors, such as Fears identities, are needed. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Clifford algebras. The language of Clifford algebras, sometimes called geometric algebras, provides a complete picture of the spin representations of all the spin groups and the various relationships between those representations via the classification of Clifford algebras. It largely removes the need for ad hoc constructions. In detail, let V be a finite dimensional complex vector space with nondegenerate bilinear form G. The Clifford algebra C v, G, is the algebra generated by V along with the anticommutation relation xy plus yx equals 2 grams x, y. It is an abstract version of the algebra generated by the gamma or Pauli matrices. If V equals Cn, with the standard form G x, y. <laughs> XTY X one Y one plus plus X N Y N. We denote the Clifford algebra by C N C. Since by the choice of an orthonormal basis, every complex vector space with non-degenerate form is isomorphic to this standard example. This notation is abused more generally if D I M C V. Topic N if N. 2K is even, Cn C is isomorphic as an algebra in a non-unique way to the algebra mat 2K, C of 2K times 2K complex matrices by the artin wedderburn theorem and the easy-to-prove fact that the Clifford algebra is central simple. If n 2K plus 1 is odd, C 2K plus 1 C is isomorphic to the algebra mat 2K, C mat 2K, C of two copies of the 2K times 2K complex matrices. Therefore, in either case C v, G has a unique up to isomorphism irreducible representation also called simple Clifford module, commonly denoted by delta, of dimension 2 n, 2. Since the Lie algebra so v, G is embedded as a Lie subalgebra in C v, G equipped with the Clifford algebra commutator as Lie bracket, the space delta is also a Lie algebra representation of so v, G called a spin representation. If n is odd, this Lie algebra representation is irreducible. If n is even, it splits further into two irreducible representations delta. Delta plus delta minus called the whale or half spin representations. Irreducible representations over the reals in the case when V is a real vector space are much more intricate, and the reader is referred to the Clifford algebra article for more details. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spin groups. Spinors form a vector space, usually over the complex numbers, equipped with a linear group representation of the spin group that does not factor through a representation of the group of rotations see diagram. The spin group is the group of rotations keeping track of the homotopy class. Spinors are needed to encode basic information about the topology of the group of rotations because that group is not simply connected, but the simply connected spin group is its double cover. So for every rotation there are two elements of the spin group that represent it. Geometric vectors and other tensors cannot feel the difference between these two elements, but they produce opposite signs when they affect any spinner under the representation. Thinking of the elements of the spin group as homotopy classes of one-parameter families of rotations, each rotation is represented by two distinct homotopy classes of paths to the identity. 
If a one-parameter family of rotations is visualized as a ribbon in space, with the arc length parameter of that ribbon being the parameter its tangent, normal, binormal frame actually gives the rotation, then these two distinct homotopy classes are visualized in the two states of the belt trick puzzle above. The space of spinors is an auxiliary vector space that can be constructed explicitly in coordinates, but ultimately only exists up to isomorphism in that there is no natural construction of them that does not rely on arbitrary choices such as coordinate systems. A notion of spinors can be associated, as such an auxiliary mathematical object, with any vector space equipped with a quadratic form such as Euclidean space with its standard dot product, or Minkowski space with its Lorentz metric. In the latter case, the rotations include the Lorentz boosts, but otherwise the theory is substantially similar. Terminology in physics The most typical type of spinner, the Dirac spinner, is an element of the fundamental representation of Cp plus Q C, the complexification of the Clifford algebra Cp, Q, R, into which the spin group spin P, Q, may be embedded. On a 2K or 2K plus 1 dimensional space a Dirac spinner may be represented as a vector of 2K complex numbers, see special unitary group, in even dimensions. This representation is reducible when taken as a representation of spin P, Q, and may be decomposed into two, the left-handed and right-handed whale spinner representations. In addition, sometimes the non-complexified version of Cp, Q, R, has a smaller real representation, the Majorana spinner representation. If this happens in an even dimension, the Majorana spinner representation will sometimes decompose into two Majorana whale spinner representations. Dirac and whale spinners are complex representations while Majorana spinners are real representations. The Dirac, Lorentz, whale, and Majorana spinners are interrelated, and their relation can be elucidated on the basis of real geometric algebra. Massive particles, such as electrons, are described as Dirac spinners, more precisely sections of the associated spinner bundle to account for spacetime dependence. The classical neutrino of the standard model of particle physics is an example of a whale spinner. However, because of observed neutrino oscillation, it is now believed that they are not whale spinors, but perhaps instead Majorana spinors. It is not known whether spin minus one half whale spinors exist in nature. In 2015, an international team led by Princeton University scientists announced that they had found a quasiparticle that behaves as a whale fermion. Topic: <laughs> Spinors in representation theory. One major mathematical application of the construction of spinors is to make possible the explicit construction of linear representations of the Lie algebras of the special orthogonal groups, and consequently spinner representations of the groups themselves. At a more profound level, spinors have been found to be at the heart of approaches to the Atiyah Singer index theorem, and to provide constructions in particular for discrete series representations of semisimple groups. The spin representations of the special orthogonal Lie algebras are distinguished from the tensor representations given by Wales construction by the weights. Whereas the weights of the tensor representations are integer linear combinations of the roots of the Lie algebra, those of the spin representations are half integer linear combinations thereof. Explicit details can be found in the spin representation article. Topic. Attempts at intuitive understanding The spinner can be described, in simple terms, as "...vectors of a space the transformations of which are related in a particular way to rotations in physical space." Stated differently, spinors provide a linear representation of the group of rotations in a space with any number n of dimensions, each spinner having two new display style two caret new components where n equals two new plus one display style n equals two new plus one or two new display style two new 
Several ways of illustrating everyday analogies have been formulated in terms of the plate trick, tangloids and other examples of orientation entanglement. Nonetheless, the concept is generally considered notoriously difficult to understand, as illustrated by Michael Atia's statement that is recounted by Dirac's biographer Graham Farmello. No one fully understands spinors. Their algebra is formally understood but their general significance is mysterious. In some sense they describe the square root of geometry and, just as understanding the square root of minus one took centuries, the same might be true of spinors. History The most general mathematical form of spinors was discovered by Elie Carton in 1913. The word, spinner, was coined by Paul Ehrenfest in his work on quantum physics. Spinors were first applied to mathematical physics by Wolfgang Pauli in 1927, when he introduced his spin matrices. The following year, Paul Dirac discovered the fully relativistic theory of electron spin by showing the connection between spinors and the Lorentz group. By the 1930s Dirac, Pete Hine and others at the Niels Bohr Institute then known as the Institute for Theoretical Physics of the University of Copenhagen created toys such as tangloids to teach and model the calculus of spinors. Spinner spaces were represented as left ideals of a matrix algebra in 1930, by G. Juvet and by Fritz Sauter. More specifically, instead of representing spinors as complex-valued 2D column vectors as Pauli had done, they represented them as complex-valued 2 times 2 matrices in which only the elements of the left column are non-zero. In this manner the spinner space became a minimal left ideal in MAT 2, C. In 1947 Marcel Ries constructed spinner spaces as elements of a minimal left ideal of Clifford algebras. In 1966–1967, David Hestines replaced spinner spaces by the even subalgebra C01, 3 R of the spacetime algebra C1, 3 R. As of the 1980s, the theoretical physics group at Birkbeck College around David Bohm and Basil Hilly has been developing algebraic approaches to quantum theory that build on Sauter and Ries identification of spinors with minimal left ideals. Topic examples Some simple examples of spinors in low dimensions arise from considering the even graded subalgebras of the Clifford algebra C P Q R. This is an algebra built up from an orthonormal basis of n equals p plus q mutually orthogonal vectors under addition and multiplication, p of which have norm plus 1 and q of which have norm minus 1, with the product rule for the basis vectors e i e j equals plus 1 i equals j, i element of 1, p minus 1 i equals j, i element of p plus 1, n minus e j e i i does not equal j, display style e underscore i e underscore j equals Big begin matrix plus one and i equals j i in one l dots p minus one and i equals j i in p plus one l dots n e underscore j e underscore i and i not equals j end matrix. Topic two dimensions. The Clifford algebra C2, 0, R is built up from a basis of one unit scalar, one, two orthogonal unit vectors, sigma 1 and sigma 2, and one unit pseudoscalar I. Equals sigma 1 sigma 2. From the definitions above, it is evident that sigma 1, 2 equals sigma 2, 2. Topic 1, and sigma 1 sigma 2, sigma 1 sigma 2. Minus sigma one sigma one sigma two sigma two equals minus one. The even subalgebra C O two zero R spanned by even graded basis elements of C two zero R determines the space of spinors via its representations. It is made up of real linear combinations of one and sigma one sigma two. As a real algebra, C02, 0, R is isomorphic to the field of complex numbers C. As a result, it admits a conjugation operation analogous to complex conjugation, sometimes called the reverse of a Clifford element, defined by a plus b sigma 1 sigma 2 equals a plus b sigma 2 sigma 
one Display style A plus B sigma underscore one sigma underscore two carrot asterisk equals A plus B sigma underscore two sigma underscore one which, by the Clifford relations, can be written a plus b sigma one sigma two equals a plus b sigma two sigma one equals a minus b sigma one Sigma two Display style A plus B sigma underscore one sigma underscore two carrot asterisk equals A plus B sigma underscore two sigma underscore one equals A B sigma underscore one sigma underscore two. The action of an even Clifford element gamma element of CO two zero R on vectors, regarded as one graded elements of C two zero R, is determined by mapping a general vector U equals A one sigma one plus A two sigma two to the vector Gamma U equals Gamma U Gamma Display style Gamma U equals Gamma U Gamma carrot asterisk where gamma is the conjugate of gamma, and the product is Clifford multiplication. In this situation, a spinner is an ordinary complex number. The action of gamma on a spinner phi is given by ordinary complex multiplication. Gamma phi equals gamma phi. Display style gamma phi equals gamma phi. An important feature of this definition is the distinction between ordinary vectors and spinors, manifested in how the even graded elements act on each of them in different ways. In general, a quick check of the Clifford relations reveals that even graded elements conjugate commute with ordinary vectors. Gamma U equals Gamma U Gamma equals Gamma 2 U display style gamma U equals gamma U gamma caret asterisk equals gamma caret two U. On the other hand, comparing with the action on spinors gamma phi equals GPH gamma on ordinary vectors acts as the square of its action on spinors. Consider, for example, the implication this has for plane rotations. Rotating a vector through an angle of theta corresponds to gamma two. Topic exp theta sigma one sigma two, so that the corresponding action on spinors is via gamma plus or minus exp theta sigma one sigma two halves. In general, because of logarithmic branching, it is impossible to choose a sign in a consistent way. Thus, the representation of plane rotations on spinors is two-valued. In applications of spinors in two dimensions, it is common to exploit the fact that the algebra of even graded elements that is just the ring of complex numbers is identical to the space of spinors. So, by abuse of language, the two are often conflated. One may then talk about the action of a spinner on a vector. In a general setting, such statements are meaningless. But in dimensions 2 and 3 as applied, for example, to computer graphics they make sense. Examples the even graded element gamma equals one two one minus sigma one sigma two display style gamma equals tfrac one sqrt two one sigma underscore one sigma underscore two corresponds to a vector rotation of 90 degrees from sigma 1 around towards sigma 2 which can be checked by confirming that 1 2 1 minus sigma 1 sigma 2 uh, 1 sigma 1 plus a uh, 2 sigma 2 one minus sigma two sigma one equals a one sigma two 
minus a two sigma one Display style tfrac one two one sigma underscore one sigma underscore two a underscore one sigma underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore two one sigma underscore two sigma underscore one equals a underscore one sigma underscore two a underscore two sigma underscore one. It corresponds to a spinner rotation of only forty-five degrees. However, one two one minus sigma 1 sigma 2 a 1 plus a 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 equals a 1 plus a 2 2 plus minus one plus a two two sigma one sigma two Display style TFRAC one SQRT two one sigma underscore one sigma underscore two a underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two equals FRAC a underscore one plus a underscore two SQRT two plus FRAC a underscore one plus a underscore two SQRT two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two Similarly the even graded element gamma equals minus sigma 1 sigma 2 corresponds to a vector rotation of 180 degrees minus sigma 1 sigma 2 a 1 sigma 1 plus a 2 sigma 2 minus sigma 2 sigma 1 equals minus a 1 sigma 1 minus a 2 sigma 2 Display style sigma underscore one sigma underscore two a underscore one sigma underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore two sigma underscore two sigma underscore one equals a underscore one sigma underscore one a underscore two sigma underscore two. But a spinner rotation of only ninety degrees minus sigma one sigma two a one plus a two sigma one sigma two equals a two minus a one sigma one sigma two Display style sigma underscore one sigma underscore two a underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore one sigma underscore two equals a underscore two a underscore one sigma underscore one sigma underscore two Continuing on further, the even graded element gamma equals minus one corresponds to a vector rotation of three hundred sixty degrees minus one a one sigma one plus a two sigma two minus one equals a one sigma one plus a two sigma two Display style minus one a underscore one sigma underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore two minus one equals a underscore one sigma underscore one plus a underscore two sigma underscore two. But a spinner rotation of one hundred eighty degrees. Topic three dimensions. 
The Clifford algebra C3, 0 R is built up from a basis of one unit scalar, one, three orthogonal unit vectors, σ1, σ2 sigma sigma and σ3, sigma the three unit bivectors σ1, σ2, σ2, σ3, σ3, σ1 and the pseudoscalar i. Equals sigma one sigma two sigma three. It is straightforward to show that sigma one two equals sigma two two. Topic sigma three two. One and sigma one sigma two two. Topic sigma two sigma three two. Sigma three sigma one two. Topic Sigma one sigma two sigma three two. Minus one. The sub algebra of even graded elements is made up of scalar dilations. U equals Rho one two U Rho one two equals Rho U Display style u caret prime equals row caret one half u row caret one half equals row u and vector rotations u equals gamma u gamma display style u caret prime equals gamma u gamma caret asterisk where gamma equals cos theta Two minus a one sigma two sigma three plus a two sigma three sigma one plus a three sigma one sigma two Sin theta two equals cos theta two minus I A one sigma one plus a two sigma two plus a Three sigma three sin theta two equals cos theta two minus I V sin theta two display style left begin array R C L gamma and equals and cos theta two a underscore one sigma underscore two sigma underscore three plus a underscore two sigma underscore three sigma underscore one plus a underscore three sigma underscore one sigma underscore two sin theta two and equals and cos theta two I A underscore one sigma underscore one plus a underscore Two sigma underscore two plus a underscore three sigma underscore three sin theta two and equals and cos theta two i v sin theta two end array right one corresponds to a vector rotation through an angle theta about an axis defined by a unit vector v equals a one sigma one plus a two sigma two plus a three sigma three. As a special case, it is easy to see that, if V equals sigma 3, this reproduces the sigma 1 sigma 2 rotation considered in the previous section, and that such rotation leaves the coefficients of vectors in the sigma 3 direction invariant, since cos theta 2 minus i sigma 3 sin theta 2 sigma 3 Cos theta two plus I sigma three sin theta two equals cos two theta two plus sin two theta two sigma three equals sigma 3 
Display style cos theta two I sigma underscore three sin theta two sigma underscore three cos theta two plus I sigma underscore three sin theta two equals cos carrot two theta two plus sin carrot two theta two sigma underscore three equals sigma underscore three the bivectors sigma two sigma three sigma three sigma one and sigma one sigma two are in fact Hamilton's quaternions i, j, and k, discovered in 1843. I equals minus sigma two sigma three equals minus i sigma one j equals minus sigma 3 sigma 1 equals minus i sigma 2 k equals minus sigma 1 sigma 2 equals minus i Sigma three Display style begin matrix math BF I equals sigma underscore two sigma underscore three equals I sigma underscore one math BF J equals sigma underscore three sigma underscore one equals I sigma underscore two math BF K equals sigma underscore one sigma underscore two equals I sigma underscore three end matrix with the identification of the even graded elements with the algebra H of quaternions, as in the case of two dimensions the only representation of the algebra of even graded elements is on itself. Thus the real spinors in three dimensions are quaternions, and the action of an even graded element on a spinner is given by ordinary quaternionic multiplication. Note that the expression one for a vector rotation through an angle θ, the angle appearing in gamma was halved. Thus the spinner rotation gamma psi equals gp's ordinary quaternionic multiplication will rotate the spinner psi through an angle one half the measure of the angle of the corresponding vector rotation. Once again, the problem of lifting a vector rotation to a spinner rotation is two valued. The expression one with 180 degrees plus theta two in place of theta two will produce the same vector rotation, but the negative of the spinner rotation. The spinner quaternion representation of rotations in 3D is becoming increasingly prevalent in computer geometry and other applications, because of the notable brevity of the corresponding spin matrix, and the simplicity with which they can be multiplied together to calculate the combined effect of successive rotations about different axes. <laughs> Explicit constructions A space of spinors can be constructed explicitly with concrete and abstract constructions. The equivalents of these constructions are a consequence of the uniqueness of the spinner representation of the complex Clifford algebra. For a complete example in dimension 3, see spinors in three dimensions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Component spinors. Given a vector space V and a quadratic form G an explicit matrix representation of the Clifford algebra C v, G, can be defined as follows. Choose an orthonormal basis E1, and for V i E. G E mu E nu M where M plus or minus 1 and M Topic zero for mu does not equal nu. Let k n two fix a set of two k times two k matrices gamma one, gamma n such that gmgn plus Granigeman. Topic two m one i.e. fix a convention for the gamma matrices. Then the assignment E mu G M extends uniquely to an algebra homomorphism C V G mat 2 K C by sending the monomial E mu 1 E mu K in the Clifford algebra to the product G M 1 G M K of matrices and extending linearly the space delta 
C2K on which the gamma matrices act is now a space of spinors. One needs to construct such matrices explicitly, however. In dimension 3, defining the gamma matrices to be the Pauli sigma matrices gives rise to the familiar two component spinors used in non relativistic quantum mechanics. Likewise, using the 4 times 4 Dirac gamma matrices gives rise to the four component Dirac spinors used in 3 plus 1 dimensional relativistic quantum field theory. In general, in order to define gamma matrices of the required kind, one can use the Whale Brouwer matrices. In this construction the representation of the Clifford algebra C v, G, the Lie algebra SO v, G, and the spin group spin v, G, all depend on the choice of the orthonormal basis and the choice of the gamma matrices. This can cause confusion over conventions, but invariants like traces are independent of choices. In particular, all physically observable quantities must be independent of such choices. In this construction a spinner can be represented as a vector of 2k complex numbers and is denoted with spinner indices usually alpha, beta, gamma. In the physics literature, abstract spinner indices are often used to denote spinors even when an abstract spinner construction is used. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Abstract spinors. There are at least two different, but essentially equivalent, ways to define spinors abstractly. One approach seeks to identify the minimal ideals for the left action of C v, G on itself. These are subspaces of the Clifford algebra of the form C v, G omega, admitting the evident action of C v, G by left multiplication, C, x omega C x omega. There are two variations on this theme, one can either find a primitive element ω that is a nullpotent element of the Clifford algebra, or one that is an idempotent. The construction via nullpotent elements is more fundamental in the sense that an idempotent may then be produced from it. In this way, the spinner representations are identified with certain subspaces of the Clifford algebra itself. The second approach is to construct a vector space using a distinguished subspace of V, and then specify the action of the Clifford algebra externally to that vector space. In either approach, the fundamental notion is that of an isotropic subspace W. Each construction depends on an initial freedom in choosing this subspace. In physical terms, this corresponds to the fact that there is no measurement protocol that can specify a basis of the spin space, even if a preferred basis of V is given. As above, we let v, g, be an n-dimensional complex vector space equipped with a nondegenerate bilinear form. If v is a real vector space, then we replace v by its complexification v r c and let g denote the induced bilinear form on v r c. Let w be a maximal isotropic subspace, i.e. a maximal subspace of v such that g, w. Topic zero. If n. 2K is even, then let W be an isotropic subspace complementary to W. If n 2K plus 1 is odd, let W be a maximal isotropic subspace with W W 0, and let U be the orthogonal complement of W W. In both the even and odd dimensional cases W and W have dimension K. In the odd dimensional case, U is one dimensional, spanned by a unit vector U. <laughs> Minimal ideals Since W is isotropic, multiplication of elements of W inside C v, G is skew. Hence vectors in W anti commute and C W G W equals C W zero is just the exterior algebra lambda W. Consequently, the k fold product of W with itself w k is one dimensional. Let omega be a generator of w k. In terms of a basis W one, w k of in W one possibility is to set omega equals W one. W two W K Display style Omega equals W underscore one W underscore two C D O T S W underscore K. Note that Omega two 
Topic zero, i.e., omega is null potent of order two, and moreover, W omega zero for all W element of W. The following facts can be proven easily. If n topic 2k, then the left ideal delta c v g omega is a minimal left ideal. Furthermore, this splits into the two spin spaces delta plus. Topic c even omega and delta minus. C odd omega on restriction to the action of the even Clifford algebra. If n equals 2k plus 1, then the action of the unit vector u on the left ideal c v g omega decomposes the space into a pair of isomorphic irreducible eigenspaces, both denoted by delta, corresponding to the respective eigenvalues plus 1 and minus 1. In detail, suppose for instance that n is even. Suppose that i is a non-zero left ideal contained in c v g omega. We shall show that I must be equal to C v g omega by proving that it contains a non-zero scalar multiple of omega. Fix a basis y of w and a complementary basis y of w so that w i w j plus w j y equals delta i j and y two. Topic zero y two o. Note that any element of i must have the form a by virtue of our assumption that i C v g omega. Let our element of i be any such element. Using the chosen basis, we may write alpha equals i1 i2 i p a i1 i p w i1 w i p plus j b j w j display style alpha equals sum underscore i underscore one, where the i1 ip are scalars and the b j are auxiliary elements of the Clifford algebra. Observe now that the product alpha omega equals i1 i2 i p a i1 i p w i1 w i p omega display style alpha omega equals sum underscore i underscore one. Pick any non-zero monomial in the expansion of alpha with maximal homogeneous degree in the elements y I equals a i one i m a X W I one W I M A X display style O equals a underscore I underscore one dots I underscore max W underscore I underscore one dots W underscore I underscore max no summation implied then W I M A X W I one alpha omega equals A I one I M A X omega dis Play style W underscore I underscore max C D O T S W underscore I underscore one alpha omega equals a underscore I underscore one dots I underscore max omega is a non zero scalar multiple of omega, as required. Note that for N even, this computation also shows that Delta equals C W omega equals Lambda W Omega Display style delta equals Mathem C L W Omega equals Lambda carrot asterisk W Omega as a vector space. In the last equality we again used that W is isotropic. In physics terms, this shows that delta is built up like a Fox space by creating spinors using anti-commuting creation operators in W acting on a vacuum omega. Topic: Exterior algebra construction. The computations with the minimal ideal construction suggest that a spinner representation can also be defined directly using the exterior algebra lambda w equals j lambda j w of the isotropic subspace w. 
Let delta equals lambda w denote the exterior algebra of w considered as vector space only. This will be the spin representation, and its elements will be referred to as spinors. The action of the Clifford algebra on delta is defined first by giving the action of an element of v on delta, and then showing that this action respects the Clifford relation and so extends to a homomorphism of the full Clifford algebra into the endomorphism ring n delta by the universal property of Clifford algebras. The details differ slightly according to whether the dimension of v is even or odd. When dim v is even v. Topic w w where w is the chosen isotropic complement. Hence, any v element of v decomposes uniquely as v. W plus w with w element of w and w element of w. The action of v on a spinner is given by c v w 1 w n equals e w plus i w w 1 w n Display style C V W underscore one wedge C D O T S wedge W underscore N equals Epsilon W plus I W left W underscore one wedge C D O T S wedge W underscore N right where I W is interior product with W using the non degenerate quadratic form to identify V with V, and Epsilon W denotes the exterior product. It may be verified that C U C V plus C V C U equals two grams U V, and so C respects the Clifford relations and extends to a homomorphism from the Clifford algebra to n delta. The spin representation delta further decomposes into a pair of irreducible complex representations of the spin group, the half spin representations or whale spinors via delta plus equals lambda e v e n w delta minus equals lambda o d d w display style delta underscore plus equals lambda caret even w delta underscore equals lambda caret odd w when dim v is odd, v equals w u w, where u is spanned by a unit vector u orthogonal to w. The Clifford action c is defined as before on w w, while the Clifford action of multiples of u is defined by c u alpha equals alpha if alpha element of lambda e v e n w minus alpha if alpha element of lambda o d d w display style c u alpha equals left begin matrix alpha and h box if alpha in lambda caret even w alpha and h box if alpha in lambda caret odd w end matrix right as before. One verifies that c respects the Clifford relations, and so induces a homomorphism. <laughs> Hermitian vector spaces and spinors If the vector space V has extra structure that provides a decomposition of its complexification into two maximal isotropic subspaces, then the definition of spinors by either method becomes natural. The main example is the case that the real vector space V is a Hermitian vector space V, H, i.e., V is equipped with a complex structure J that is an orthogonal transformation with respect to the inner product G on V then VRC splits in the plus or minus I eigenspaces of J. These eigenspaces are isotropic for the complexification of G and can be identified with the complex vector space V, J and its complex conjugate V, minus J. Therefore, for a Hermitian vector space v, H, the vector space λ C V as well as its complex conjugate λ C V is a spinner space for the underlying real Euclidean vector space. With the Clifford action as above but with contraction using the Hermitian form, this construction gives a spinner space at every point of an almost Hermitian manifold and is the reason why every almost complex manifold in particular every symplectic manifold has a spin structure. Likewise, every complex vector bundle on a manifold carries a spin structure. <laughs> Klebsch-Gordon decomposition 
A number of Klebsch Gordon decompositions are possible on the tensor product of one spin representation with another. These decompositions express the tensor product in terms of the alternating representations of the orthogonal group. For the real or complex case, the alternating representations are gamma r equals lambda r v, the representation of the orthogonal group on skew tensors of rank r. In addition, for the real orthogonal groups, there are three characters, one-dimensional representations. Sigma plus O P Q minus one plus one given by sigma plus R equals minus one if R reverses the spatial orientation of V plus one if R preserves the spatial orientation of V the spatial character Sigma minus O P Q minus one plus one given by sigma minus R equals minus one if R reverses the temporal orientation of V plus one if R preserves the temporal orientation of V the temporal character Sigma equals sigma plus sigma minus, the orientation character. The Klebsch Gordon decomposition allows one to define, among other things, an action of spinors on vectors, a Hermitian metric on the complex representations of the real spin groups, a Dirac operator on each spin representation. <laughs> Even dimensions If n equals 2k is even, then the tensor product of delta with the contragradient representation decomposes as delta delta p equals 0 n gamma p p equals 0 k minus 1 gamma p Sigma gamma p gamma k display style delta o times delta caret asterisk kong big o plus underscore p equals zero caret n gamma underscore p kong big o plus underscore p equals zero caret k one left gamma underscore p o plus sigma gamma underscore p right o plus gamma underscore k which can be seen explicitly by considering in the explicit construction the action of the Clifford algebra on decomposable elements au bo. The rightmost formulation follows from the transformation properties of the Hodge star operator. Note that on restriction to the even Clifford algebra, the paired summons gamma psgp are isomorphic, but under the full Clifford algebra they are not. There is a natural identification of delta with its contragradient representation via the conjugation in the Clifford algebra. Alpha Omega equals Omega Alpha Display style alpha omega carrot asterisk equals omega alpha carrot asterisk. So delta delta also decomposes in the above manner. Furthermore, under the even Clifford algebra, the half spin representations decompose delta plus delta plus delta minus delta minus p equals 0 k gamma 2 p delta plus delta minus delta minus delta plus p equals 0 K minus one gamma two p plus one display style begin matrix delta underscore plus o times delta underscore plus caret asterisk kong delta underscore o times delta underscore caret asterisk and kong and big o plus underscore p equals zero caret k gamma underscore two p delta underscore plus o times delta underscore caret asterisk kong delta underscore o times delta underscore plus caret asterisk and kong and big o plus underscore p equals 0 carrot k1 gamma underscore 2p plus 1 end matrix for the complex representations of the real Clifford algebras the associated reality structure on the complex Clifford algebra descends to the space of spinors via the explicit construction in terms of minimal ideals for instance 
In this way, we obtain the complex conjugate delta of the representation delta, and the following isomorphism is seen to hold: delta sigma minus delta display style bar delta kong sigma underscore delta caret asterisk. In particular, note that the representation delta of the orthochronous spin group is a unitary representation. In general, there are klebsch gordon decompositions delta delta p equals zero k sigma minus gamma p sigma plus gamma p display style delta o times bar delta kong big o plus underscore p equals zero caret k left sigma underscore gamma underscore p o plus sigma underscore plus gamma underscore p right. In metric signature p q, the following isomorphisms hold for the conjugate half spin representations. If Q is even, then delta plus sigma minus delta plus display style bar delta underscore plus kong sigma underscore o times delta underscore plus caret asterisk and delta minus sigma minus delta minus Display style bar delta underscore kong sigma underscore o times delta underscore caret asterisk. If Q is odd, then delta plus sigma minus delta minus display style bar delta underscore plus kong sigma underscore o times delta underscore caret asterisk and delta minus Sigma minus delta plus display style bar delta underscore kong sigma underscore o times delta underscore plus caret asterisk. Using these isomorphisms, one can deduce analogous decompositions for the tensor products of the half spin representations delta plus or minus delta plus or minus. Topic: Odd dimensions. If n equals 2k plus 1 is odd, then delta delta p equals 0 k gamma 2 p display style delta o times delta caret asterisk kong big o plus underscore p equals 0 caret k gamma underscore 2 p. In the real case, once again the isomorphism holds delta Sigma minus delta display style bar delta kong sigma underscore delta caret asterisk. Hence, there is a Klebsch-Gordon decomposition again using the Hodge star to dualize, given by delta delta sigma minus gamma zero sigma plus gamma one. Sigma plus or minus gamma k display style delta o times bar delta kong sigma underscore gamma underscore zero o plus sigma underscore plus gamma underscore one o plus dots o plus sigma underscore pm gamma underscore k. Topic consequences. There are many far-reaching consequences of the Klebsch-Gordon decompositions of the spinner spaces. The most fundamental of these pertain to Dirac's theory of the electron, among whose basic requirements are a manner of regarding the product of two spinors PHPs as a scalar. In physical terms, a spinner should determine a probability amplitude for the quantum state. A manner of regarding the product PSF as a vector. This is an essential feature of Dirac's theory, which ties the spinner formalism to the geometry of physical space. A manner of regarding a spinner as acting upon a vector, by an expression such as psi v psi. In physical terms, this represents an electric current of Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, or more generally a probability current. Topic. Summary in low dimensions In one dimension, a trivial example, the single spinner representation is formally Majorana, a real one-dimensional representation that does not transform. 
In two Euclidean dimensions, the left-handed and the right-handed whale spinner are one-component complex representations, i.e. complex numbers that get multiplied by e plus or minus i phi, 2 under a rotation by angle phi. In three Euclidean dimensions, the single spinner representation is two-dimensional and quaternionic. The existence of spinors in three dimensions follows from the isomorphism of the groups SU spin that allows us to define the action of spin on a complex two-component column a spinner. .The generators of SU can be written as Pauli matrices. In four Euclidean dimensions, the corresponding isomorphism is spin SU times SU there are two inequivalent quaternionic two-component whale spinors and each of them transforms under one of the SU factors only. In five Euclidean dimensions, the relevant isomorphism is spin 5 USP 4 SP 2 that implies that the single spinner representation is four-dimensional and quaternionic. In six Euclidean dimensions, the isomorphism spin 6 SU 4 guarantees that there are two four-dimensional complex whale representations that are complex conjugates of one another. In seven Euclidean dimensions, the single spinner representation is eight-dimensional and real. No isomorphisms to a Lie algebra from another series a or C exist from this dimension on. In eight Euclidean dimensions, there are two whale Majorana real eight-dimensional representations that are related to the eight-dimensional real vector representation by a special property of spin eight called triality. In d plus eight dimensions, the number of distinct irreducible spinner representations and their reality, whether they are real, pseudoreal, or complex, mimics the structure in d dimensions, but their dimensions are sixteen times larger. This allows one to understand all remaining cases. See bot periodicity. In spacetimes with p spatial and q time like directions, the dimensions viewed as dimensions over the complex numbers coincide with the case of the p plus q dimensional Euclidean space, but the reality projections mimic the structure in p minus q Euclidean dimensions. For example, in 3 plus 1 dimensions there are two non-equivalent whale complex like in two dimensions two component like in four dimensions spinors, which follows from the isomorphism SL 2, C spin 3, 1. See also Anion Dirac equation in the algebra of physical space Eigenspinner Einstein Carton theory Projective representation Pure spinner Spin minus one half Spinner bundle Supercharge Twister theory Notes <laughs> <laughs>